Hello, and welcome to Whiskey at Work. Along with my cohorts, it's Rob and Kelsey. How are you guys today? I'm good. good. Are you? Good, so are you guys far. having a good day? It's, I am. It feels slow today at work. Does for it? Me. Yeah, it kind of wow. does today. What's Did that? you? Isn't it most days? <laughs> Didn't have any dartboards. Welcome to radio. <laughs> Hot tubs God, to sit in. Every time I'm I think bra- you'd be I'm getting making, busy. I know. With Wait, all what? The, all the radio stations <laughs> that you got to take care of now. Well, look, they're all yeah, running. Are you responsible for a few things around here? Is the, any of that? They're all running so done? smoothly. He's pretty good That's at delegating. <laughs> I'm fantastic at delegating. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, all right. So speaking of I wish in the delegation. background Dean Tanner <laughs> <laughs> Dean Taylor, Taylor was just running around <laughs> frazzled. Like people just everything's on there's like trash cans on fire. <laughs> Why do you think we cover that window? I don't need anybody to see that. And you're sitting in here drinking. No. All the it's cronies not good for are morale working. if they no, see it, what it, we that's, do in that's here. That's true. That's why we keep the door closed and the window covered because, yeah, morale, that's a thing. Um, <laughs> What they, we're they doing, should have thought of this. Well, they should have. You know, we just brought it to fruition and figured out a fun way to drink while we're actually at work because we are. We all have other jobs we're supposed to be doing right now. No, two and, of us uh, have other jobs that we're supposed to be doing right now. Uh, what are you supposed to be doing? You're right. Three. There oh. is Russ. <laughs> Russ has a real job at this company. Man. Okay. He's actually doing his He's job. He's doing his job enough. right now. He's doing a fantastic job of it, too. <laughs> God, I look fantastic. We'll see. I've seen some stills posted to the Facebook page recently <laughs> that I'm not that impressed with. <laughs> what we're doing, uh, except for last week, we had to take a break because we had a... Uh, well, we were Hills... one week in and couldn't quite pull the rest of it off. <laughs> That's right. The Black Hills Stock Show and Rodeo was in town. But we got all that taken care of. Most of the smell is out of the Civic Center now. So we can sit down and get back to a little series that we started here on Whiskey at Work. We are drinking regional whiskeys from around the great state of South Dakota. We're trying to find some cool, unique things to drink. Uh, we started in Minnesota, uh, in pretty Duluth, good. which was a pretty good, unique blend of whiskey. That's and unique. that's where we're at today in the state of Montana. We went west. We did go west, way west. Southwest Montana is where this distillery is. Or I don't understand Indiana. directions. Oh, <laughs> so if you're looking at the state of Montana, okay, okay. we're over here. Okay, perfect, we're over perfect. here. So we're not in Montana. That is my first Ennis question. Ennis is way over here. Go. South Dakota here. You said Montana. Okay, I didn't mean Montana. South Dakota here. Okay. Ennis, Montana here. Okay. There's Montana. Perfect. Like that, okay. Short distance. Yeah, so no, it's it's very <laughs> if you've ever driven across the state of Montana, sweet baby scallops. It is <laughs> uh, it is a long a nice long, for long drive. It is. Um you know it's a it's a it's a beautiful state though. Do you guys ever spend time there? Have you ever spent camped or done anything like that? You know, no, you but I like the camper though. I am Kelsey, not a camper. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't like the idea of of, I can almost get behind the idea of like being in a tent in the wilderness. I hate the idea of where you move your house into a smaller version of your house into a smaller neighborhood with new neighbors. Like you're not camping. You've just moved closer to people. <laughs> I don't like it. But I cannot see you in the wilderness without a shower and access to a regular bathroom. Yeah, that's true. I <laughs> bathe two to three times a day. I don't think I'm going to so, survive in the wild. So camping's probably not your thing. Probably really. okay. not. But I don't. I like the idealistic. The idea of it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I like that. What about you, Rob? What do you like about Montana? You ever spent much time there? I haven't. Uh, Billings is a beautiful city. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, well, it's a beautiful it, state. It's a little like. You know, you drive for a ways and it's, hey, this is beautiful. And then like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Very, very <laughs> true. <laughs> what is you know, I was like driving across what South happens? Dakota. It's like, oh, this is pretty. What happened here? Well, it's pretty till you get to Wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything east, well, of, east that of that. Is, then, yeah. Um, Look at all the viewers you've just alienated. <laughs> no, our fan base no, exists you know. between Wall and Sioux well, it's Falls. Not, this isn't a surprise to people that live east right. of here. I mean, exactly. They know, or they should. They should. Um, and if you didn't, you do now. Montana has uh, Glacier National Park, which is one of the most beautiful places you could ever possibly visit Big in the sky. States. Yeah, the whole thing is great. Uh, but what we wanted to do is focus on a distillery in Ennis, Montana, called Willie's Distillery. And you are the one that actually... 
This came courtesy of our uh, Sinatra buyer, Vic Simmons. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, Vic, thank you very much. We're going to save the accolades till we... <laughs> Until <laughs> we've reviewed it. Reviewed <laughs> this, Vic. We might send this back to you, Vic. Some of I'm us. Not sure yet. It, it is almost one year in the bottle today. Yeah, we just noticed we just that. Just noticed um, that, yep. it, that it actually got bottled on uh, February 13th. February 13th of 2019. So yep. it's called. How a, apropos. It is. It's perfect for what we're doing today. Look at us accidentally falling into something <laughs> relevant. Um, it's a good thing we didn't do this last story week. Of all of this, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. This is Bighorn yeah, Bourbon Whiskey. Uh, is what it's called. And uh, again, it's another distillery that is a, a husband and wife team that that have been, uh, they started it in 2010, so they're a decade into it now. And they have the gin and the vodka, of course, which a lot of these... A lot of moonshine. <laughs> yep, products. a lot of these distilleries, that that's how they start because those are products to make much quicker. You can make gin and vodka really fast to get it out. Yep, no, while a- you're, no aging. Right, while you're waiting for this stuff. You can actually um, make the whiskey pretty quick. It's the aging process that'll slow you down, though. Well, the, yeah, the whiskey can be made in a matter of days. That's the... It's trying to help you out. Wow. I think that was common knowledge, but that's cool. You know, most whiskey turns, drinkers totally uh, understand turns that. out that it's not that common. Here. All right. We've had, we've had a long Who's day today. <laughs> more whiskey facts. We've had a long day at work today, Robin. You I, haven't done anything today. <laughs> I got a lot. Like, of, I think maybe you just got here. Oh, what time is it? It's hard to tell. God, you guys aren't far off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Annie's got to leave in a minute. I know. I, we got to wrap this up because I got to get home. It's getting bad out there weather-wise. Um, Speaking of bad weather. A little bit of trivia. Okay. Montana trivia. The biggest snowflake ever recorded or ever observed was in Montana how in big like was it? 1887. Yeah. And how would they, how, I 1887? Don't know. Something like that. Some, I'm sure it's 100% truthful then with that whole snowflake, right? Because well, surely they had tools of measurement. Where's, in the, where's the pictures? Where's the documentation? I think they had photography in 1887, in, actually. <laughs> But the snowflake would have had to sat or sit for <laughs> hours before the photo could be taken, and it would have melted. Hours? It's not posing. Yeah. It's, well, just, you know. Oh. I don't have, they didn't have iPhone. That's that's the, can you tell us when, <laughs> photo- when, when photography was commercialized? Does our videographer know? Abraham Lincoln. There, there are pictures of Abraham Lincoln, and that was like 1861, 62, 63, so... Yeah, you're right. Okay, never I can't mind. Believe you guys God, that, that was a terrible fact. I asked you to find out one thing about Montana. I love that fact. <laughs> I'm very interested. In it was facts. almost 15 <laughs> inches across. I thought it was what? kind of no awesome. No way. That's what they said. Maybe Montana's Kay. a bunch of liars. I don't know. Yeah, big sky lying. I think is what we're getting out of Montana. <laughs> 50 inches. That's bigger than this table. Snowflake 15. Oh, 15. I'm sorry. I thought you said 50. That's... Did you think he said 50? <laughs> okay. I was going to say that's bigger than 15. this table. There's no way. Well, if you shut up long enough for me, you know, <laughs> say that. 15 <laughs> makes so much more sense. Yeah, now it does. Yeah. Like, that still, isn't still impressive? It's still it is. Impressive. A 15 inch snowflake that's only is 12. So it's as big as one of the squares on the wall, then. At least. Or, or, bigger. or bigger. I find that suspiciously large. 12. I don't believe I it. I do now. too, but I th- I, I'll take it back, Rob. That's a cool fact. That is a very cool fact. Nice job. It is also <clears throat> illegal for you to drive a pickup with a sheep in the cab without a chaperone <laughs> in Montana. That should be illegal everywhere. All right. That seems <laughs> totally well, then get it a chaperone or get it a car seat. <laughs> Don't be irresponsible. Protect your sheep. Oh, I'm so sorry, Montana. I'm so sorry for this. It's You're- illegal for married women to go fishing alone on Sundays. And it's illegal for women I'm out of here. That, aren't, <laughs> that aren't married to fish alone at all. Guess who's outdoorsy now? <laughs> I'm going to go fishing in Montana. And you didn't think I had anything to do today? Really? <laughs> Captain rattle off these kind of I Montana had, I had five minutes while we were waiting for mm, Kelsey to uh-huh. get in here. Do you guys actually get right. paid to be here? Because I, I think I need to talk money. to somebody <laughs> about this. Uh, all right. Back to Willie's Distillery. Um, owned by vets. Owned by veterans as well, yes. And they're very involved with our military. They hire a lot of people that are, uh, I believe, ex-military. Don't uh, say anything bad about the whiskey. Who's Willie? Is he a real person? Um, you know, that's... A, Willie and Robin. Yes, that's the, the husband and wife. Yep. Right. 
I well, wish this... the viewers at home could see how disinterested and disappointed <laughs> our videographer is the whole time this is happening. I like... watched him just hang his head in shame, yeah, roll his eyes a couple he's, of times. He's, he's not looking forward to editing so. this at all. No, of course he's not. What are we even talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll get back to you. Okay, we'll go that's back. what happens when you let me talk. I ramble. I know. That's, that's true. That's... The first time yeah, Rob's invited no to talk kidding. and he's like, here's some facts about Montana no one asked for. <laughs> That's not true. I, I he asked know. for him. I just didn't think they were. Doing I'm not that. doing any more work <laughs> on like this than I have to. I was like one or two would have been. I, was, I only gave you three. You gave four. Let's three. go for five. No, because you, you have another? two about women. It was the same thing. Oh. It was the same bullet Let's point. Let's make it an even right. five. What else do you? What have? other? One more. One more Montana <laughs> fact. Go. Uh, <laughs> mo- <laughs> Great Springs is the. Uh, they have the short. They have the shortest river in the country, or okay. arguably the shortest river in the country, depending okay. on what time of year they measure. What? All right, very good. How That's long another. Does it have to be, to be a river. The shortest. Apparently, river. somewhere like between. Yeah, the no line. kidding. No, <laughs> just yeah. somewhere between fifty-eight and two hundred feet. Who <laughs> on... decided? I actually watched a YouTube uh, video about that. See, now I'm stupid. About river no, length. About yes, and <laughs> yeah, it, it because it's measured. From where it comes out of the lake, okay. and it goes about it goes about sixty feet, and then fifty eight is yeah because of the definition of a stream. It's it's considered the shortest, even though it does c- continue on somewhere or goes breaks in a, off. Goes or into the is Missouri de- River. Is, is, yeah, is a stream defined by length though, or is it just? I don't remember. That, that I don't remember the YouTube documentary. Off. Okay, we have way got <laughs> sometimes off track here. Tell sometimes. us what you know about streams. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes yeah, a creek please. in Montana is called a crick, too. They said. Sometimes I, was, I accidentally say. Uh, I grew up calling it a. I crick. call it a crick too. Of course you yeah. do. Maybe okay, I'm anyway, from Montana. Anyway, <laughs> shut up now. Let's get back to this. So this is a blended bourbon that we're drinking uh, here in front of us, and all right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna come out and be honest about it because I was. Mad is what you I were. was a little angry about it, and I shouldn't be. It shouldn't make this big of a deal. I was because when I first looked at the back of this bottle, it says distilled, bottled, uh, and whatever else on the back. What does it say there? Read the read the last uh, paragraph. Distilled. There the of... Jesus Christ! Oh my really? God! Do you need me to do it? Distilled, barreled, bottled, blended, and bottled by Willie's Distillery. Distilled, in barreled. And... Yep. You want me to keep going? Hold on. Distilled, barreled, bottled, and blended. Okay. <laughs> in. In in Ennis, Montana. Me, Sally sells, and so, she <laughs> and so I'm thinking, great, this is a local Montana bourbon. And then it said oh, no. and distilled in Indiana. And right oh. there, that tells us that this is probably that also we lied to. also a product of what we've talked about before, MGP in Indiana, which is which is a um, sorry, the phone was ringing. Which oh, is a giant producer of whiskeys and bourbons for craft distillers. Okay, now on the surface, that's one hundred percent fine. They probably make great products but from why MGP. Isn't it one hundred percent fine, Mark? It's n- well because, because I'm Mark Houston, and no, it's that's because my opinion. So you guys are all, and I think wrong. I figured out why I get bothered by it. It's because. Oh, let's they, dig to the they dig to the root of your trauma. They don't tell you that. You, except right here on the it, bottle. Well, well except but, on the bottle in the same Indiana. font and size as where it tells you everything but else. But how many whiskey drinkers are going to know that? That's my that's, only the smart ones. Because we're trying to we're common, normal, everyday whiskey drinkers. And what and I want, and now it's your fault that we have all this useless <sighs> knowledge. Now, now we have to critique now we every have all these facts single about thing Montana. that we drink. I just want it's a fifteen-inch snowflake. I just want to be honest with people when it comes to what they're drinking. I guess, and and no, I think that's fair because you're not really you're not really drinking a, a one hundred percent that you think you're drinking. Right, Montana whiskey. Now, granted, yeah. they do distill their stuff. They do have distilled whiskey at their facility, okay? But they blend it with, I'm assuming, a more mature whiskey from Indiana to create the flavor that they want in this bottle. I'm assuming that's what happens. I'm assuming their whiskey that's distilled in Montana is younger. They blend it with an older to get the flavor that they want. And if they get the flavor that they want and people love it, then that's great. Fine. It is perfectly fantastic. Okay. Um, Except when it's not. And, I just, and your yeah. Still. And I was just, I was just really hoping this was a 100%, you know, um, 
Montana whiskey, and 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 it's not. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's fine. Okay, it's my problem. It's not sound, their problem. Sound a little all like right. Seinfeld. <laughs> it's uh, it's not, all me. Okay, all me. Okay, but really quick, what uh, do do you like it, Rob? What's your what's your uh, what's your verdict? The initial taste was. I'm not sure I want this in my mouth ever again. Um, <laughs> that said, after after it's it, honest. Well, it was. I mean, we it was harsh. Be honest. We want to be. Yeah, we uh, we don't. After like after on a little scale wh- of swallowable. <laughs> where did it? Uh, not really. Um, although I poured more just now. The uh, <laughs> after it cooled off and got a little ice melt. It's it's a nice sweet. It or, is. That, I mean, it's a that nice does kind of come out, yeah. It neat, I, drinking it neat, not happening for this kid. I, sorry, Agreed. it's not happening. Yeah, I, I would have to have either more ice or almost blended half with water. Kind of almost a half and half if I was going to, you know, to, to bring out a lot of that sweet flavor that you're talking about. Take away a little of that initial burn yeah. that's in that yeah. bottle. It's, I, th- I think, like you said, it's a young, at least uh, probably, sorry, mm-hmm. Willie, I don't know. On the Willie's side, it's it's probably a very young bourbon. Sure. And that's where you're getting that harsh bite to it to begin with. Right. Kelsey, what did you think? Oh, we're going to ask Casey's opinion. <laughs> Casey gets no, Kelsey, well, time. Veronica <laughs> Scallops uh, wasn't here, so you were second choice. I agree with that. I didn't like it at all on the first sip or two, and then about half my ice cube melted, and now I kind of like it. It really did open up the sweetness, it, yeah. and it's much easier to drink, and it didn't have quite that... Doesn't have that bite that it had in the beginning, but agree, would never drink this neat. Yeah, but on I, ice or with right. a little bit of water. Yeah, I think uh, I think all three of us have come to that conclusion. Um, I don't think three all the three of us are neat drinkers generally to begin with. I need um, ice. Yeah, but this uh, this is one I don't think you would want to just pour into a glass and and not add something to it. You know, this might also be a pretty good cocktail bourbon i think as well they because did it's offer got up some that, cocktails recipes yeah. on their website yeah, that's a good idea. it's got that initial sharp hit at the beginning before that water gets into it which really plays well into a lot of cocktails so in, in that sense i think yeah absolutely you know um if you find yourself in ennis montana and you're by willie's mm-hmm. distillery buy a bottle and try it out um i like the logo and the label i do i i think i like yeah the design of it the the branding of it, I think, is pretty cool, and I believe it did win an award in 2018. So, uh, you know, yeah, best veteran-owned business, I think. Is oh, what, excellent! Yeah. What the okay, sheet said. Yeah. that's very cool. That that's very cool, cool for what they do. So, uh, give it a try. You know, if if you're if you're in Southwest Montana, if you suddenly wake up in the morning, decide, you know what, I need to spend 12 hours in the car, <laughs> then get in there and go to to. Or Ennis, if you're Montana. on your way to Idaho, <laughs> yeah. well, just keep going past Idaho. Get get to Seattle. All right. Uh, anyway, there you go. Where can we be found, oh. Kelsey? Just... You can find us. <laughs> That was me. Sorry. Please follow See? our pages. You can find us on Instagram at Whiskey at Work, Whiskey without the E. And you can find us on Facebook, Whiskey at Work, Whiskey with the E. We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. Bye.